Hello and welcome to this Dr. Rossmas key skill video on finding the surface area of a cylinder from its radius and height. Now remember the surface area of a solid means the total area on all the faces of the shape. So we've got the circle at the top, we now have the circle at the bottom as one of the faces, and then we've got this kind of curved area uh, that goes up the cylinder. We need to find the area of that as well. And one way you can think about it is that if you had the net of this 3D shape, so the net would look something like this, if you were to sort of cut the edges and then sort of fold it out so it came flat, it would look like this, wouldn't it? So you've got the circle top and bottom, and then if you were to sort of make a slit, so for example, if I took this piece of paper and you've got a cylinder, and I made a slit and I folded it out, that becomes a rectangle, doesn't it? So let's think about the area of this. The radius of the circle, we'll just say is R, and can you see that because this length here has to be the same length as this here, this length of the rectangle must be the same as the circumference of a circle. So the circumference of a circle, do you remember, is 2 pi r. And then we'll just say that the height of this end is h, h for height. So let's think about what the total area is here. Well, the total surface area, let's say SA, of a cylinder is equal to the area of the circle at the top, which is pi r squared, plus the circle at the bottom, another pi r squared. So we've got two lots of pi r squared. And then we've got the area of this rectangle. Now, the area of a rectangle is just length times height. So 2 pi r times h, so 2 pi r h. So that is the formula for the surface area of a cylinder. So now let's just use the lengths that we have. The surface area of our cylinder is two times pi times the radius squared, where the radius is three, plus two times pi times the radius, three, times by the height, which is five. Now you could shove that all in your calculator. So two times pi, so shift pi, times three squared, plus two times pi, or two pi, times by three times five, and it simplified it for me to 48 pi. But if you press the SD key, it will give you it as a decimal, rather than exact form, and that gives me 150.8. Now, all these measurements are in centimeters, so the unit of volume will be centimeters cubed and that was to one decimal place. So that's the final answer.